With no Halloween special ideas in mind, I thought what better time than now to go back and rank every LEGO Monster Fighter set from worst to best. Of course, like always, polybags won't be counted for this list because it's unfair to compare essentially freebies to retail sets. The Haunted House is such a boring set. Don't get me wrong, the set doesn't look bad, but it's just so bland. The interior is fairly empty, which makes sense, it's an abandoned house, but like, I don't know, for a retail LEGO set, this just doesn't hit right. It feels more like a mock. This monochrome Frankenstein minifigure is cool though. Makes him feel straight out of a black and white horror movie from the 1920s. Wish LEGO did this for World by Night though. This set is definitely down to personal preference, but it just doesn't vibe with me personally. It's also the only set on the come with a moonstone, which is kind of lame. For only 7 bucks, the swamp creature is a neat set. It feels like two polybags bone together, but for the price of one. Plus, you get one of the moonstones. The pattern printed on it isn't the best, but otherwise, this set is pretty cool. The Mummy was such a banger set, but for the glow in the dark skeleton horse alone. The little whirly bat esque side build isn't too great, but oh boy, the Mummy's build sure as hell makes up for it because, again, the glow in the dark skeleton horse also has the best moonstone design. The purple and minimalistic design really ties all together, and the Mummy in the dark too. The werewolf feels like a Halloween version of a Lego adventure set or like a fire quest set with a buggy side build and Major Quint and Steel who straight up looks like the villain from Lego Adventures. The tree build isn't half bad either plus the werewolf's claws glow in the dark which is pretty cool. The moonstone isn't bad but like they should have just made the moon smaller because as it is it just looks like tree random curved lines around the wolf howling. The crazy scientist and his monster is another decent set, but man, what is that car build? The laser is really sick since it has a light bar, so you can actually laser Frankenstein's monster to life. Moonstone is neat, and the set got a decent remake a couple of years later in the form of an Ultimate Spider-Man set. The Zombies is again just another really cool monster set. The truck has this neat play feature where as you roll the truck, the hammers also spin in tandem to obliterate the zombies, who don't really have much of a defense. Also, the zombie bride has blood in her face, which is very unexpected for LEGO standards. The Moonstone design is also one of the best, with the zombie reaching out of its grave. The zombie hearse is a surprisingly sleek design with the flame design on the roof of the hearse, albeit the front looks a bit awkward with the Moonstone just sitting there, and also the fact that Lord Vampire is missing his cape. Like is pretty cool though, but again, doesn't really make up for the fact that Lord Vampire is missing his cape. Why is he missing his cape? The Ghost Train is a classic. It's like an undead Thomas the Tank Engine with the ghost face at the front, although the train cars are a little stumpy looking. I feel like it would have benefited the train to take the peace budget from the plane and invest it into the train itself. The ghost moonstone though is kind of middle of the road. The blue could have been a few shades darker instead of being just like light, almost baby blue. Now this, this is a castle right here. It really nails the Transylvania castle aesthetic with the pointy castle tips, the spiral staircase from the OG Batcave set, the moonstone portal which can actually spin, Lord Vanbar can even drop some bars on the organ. Let him cook. <laughs> There's also this car which just casually has two shotguns strapped on the front and like a UV ray hitch on the back, Stroheim style. This is an overall fantastic set, especially for 100 bucks back in the day. Like, damn, this is this is peak. You don't get sets like this anymore. Overall, it's safe to say they cooked with this theme, and it's honestly a shame we didn't get any more ways with different monsters. Although I guess there's only so many folklore monsters you can pull from before going full of crafty and horror. Although thing about it, that would legitimately be a cool ass theme, especially for the 18 plus branding. But I guess we can hope and cope. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to notify for my future LEGO videos. And if you want to help the channel financially, consider becoming a channel member for only two euro a month. And have a happy Halloween.